Well hello there YouTubers, looky what we have here, Warhammer Quest Adventure Card Game. Uh, this is hot off the press, just got this one um, today. And uh, let's get this puppy open and see what we've got. Been looking forward to this since Gen Con 2015, so I want to see, uh, see what it's all about and see what you get in the box. Um, as usual it's Fantasy Flight Games, so it's nicely, nicely packaged, very high quality and uh, it was nice to the touch. Uh, I had some, had some problems with the camera now, so you're going to see a slight camera change. This is the uh, usual stuff you get inside, the catalogue, and there's just two rule books, there's an index and a, and a learn to play, rules reference and a learn to play. Um, let's take a closer look, shall we? Uh, this is the uh, rules index, which is uh, sorry, learn to play. I think no, no, that's the rules index. Quite handy. When you get a word on a card, you quickly look it up and find out what it actually means. I mean, I've been doing it for a while, but some of it seems a bit. It seems still seems a bit iffy. You see a word and you think, well, how does that actually work? And uh, you know, it's going to take some refining, I think, to get to get your head around it. And um, the rule book, as usual, high quality, high art, good stuff. Yeah, it's just some counters. Nothing uh, spectacular there. There's the custom dice, six custom dice. And the uh, quest cards. The quest cards, you've probably seen the, the Foul Stench, which is the quest number one. Um, if you want to see what quest two, three, and four, five are, I'm going to show them, but I'm not going to read them because it is a little bit of a spoiler and you know you don't want to spoil the game before you've even played it. But, um, if you want to read them you can pause the video and, and read what the quest cards say. Hopefully you should be able to focus on there and, and read what it says. Um, don't know how long each one's going to take. I think the game's going to be pretty tough to play because it seems that you're going to be taking wounds and taking hits quite a lot from the enemies that you're engaged with or enemies in the shadows etc but that's the quest cards let's move on uh, here's the all the cards that you get with the deck which are the full size cards not the, the mini fancy flight ones um, not a massive amount not you know 38 I think there's like 38 dungeon cards and there's something like 36 loot cards so there's not a huge amount so probably have a lot of expansions coming our way um, there's a, a goblin um, it's 40k so it's good stuff but you can see like retreat on the card so you go retreat inflict inflict and obviously retreat means join the enemy phase when the enemy's retreat keyword is resolved that enemy is placed in the shadow zone so it means he just goes he's, if he's engaged with a player he moves back into the shadows which is an area in the center of the table <clears throat> when you're playing and inflict this is one of the iffy rules which I was looking at thinking I'm not sure how that works uh, it says retreat inflict inflict and inflict states during the enemy phase, when the enemy's inflict effect is resolved, the hero with, with which that enemy is engaged suffers a number of wounds equal to the enemy's attack, which is the one. Enemy is not engaged with the hero, the active hero gets the wounds anyway. So even if that enemy is in the shadows, he still inflicts damage to the active hero. Is what I'm reading that as. But we'll see. Um, this is the Warhammer Universe, not 40k, I think I said 40k here. It's the Warhammer Universe, so the enemies are all your favourites if you're an 80s kid. Or even a 90s kid. Um, again, fantastic artwork, presentation, top drawer, fantasy flight, as usual. The uh, red number equates to the health of the enemy, the minions, and the blue is their hits, how much they actually damage you. And you roll dice to negate that damage, or you can store up. Um, successes you can you the little hammer icons on the dice are successes success rolls and you can actually purchase or gain success rolls that you leave on your on your hero or on an action for your hero so you can defend or not defend but you can attack and kill things i think it's going to be a, a very woundy game because um enemies hit you no matter what even if you score enough uh successes to kill an enemy that you're engaged with, that enemy still does damage to you, and if you don't roll enough shields, you're going to take all that damage. That is the um, the uh, but the nemesis. So there's five of them in there, 
and uh, obviously these go with the quests. The quest cards on the rear have information how to set up your game, so each one of these nemesis go with a quest um, that gets sorted when you play through the quest, so, which I'm not going to do at first. I think I'm going to try a dungeon delve first, which is a, like a standalone uh, individual quest. So let's take a look at some of the location cards. Again, rear of the cards, just as nice as the front of the cards. And you can see in the top left hand corner is a one. Um, these are tier one locations and then you have tier two locations. Uh, I'm not going to show everything because it's spoilers and you know, if you want this game, go out and buy it. I think it's probably going to be worth it if you're into Pathfinder or adventure card games of this sort. And there we have tier three locations. Uh, the rear of the hero cards are, are defined like, uh, in this way, you can see, fantastic artwork. Uh, you have three hero cards for each hero, so there's four heroes and you have three hero cards for each hero. You can see in the top right hand corner of that card there's four symbols, so that you would use that card, that hero, in a four player game. Um, in a three player game you use a different hero card which gives you more health, and in a, two player game, in a single player or two player game you use the hero card with two symbols in the top right hand corner because you get 23, 25 health um, if, you're, uh, if you're playing that way. Obviously when you play solo, you play with two heroes minimum. So you can control two heroes and you've, you've got, it looks like this game is going to be massively cooperative. You do need to push, push things to your um, companions on this game. Uh, this is the hero actions. You have basic actions that you start the game with and as you progress through the dungeon delve or you progress in stature in the actual quests you 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 gain advanced actions which allow you to uh well, do more advanced actions <laughs> uh yeah that's the actions themselves so that's the advanced ones there different slightly different artwork on the on the card face and um each hero has four actions, and this is uh, some loot. Now, this is the actual uh, legendary. This is the legendary loot. Um, in a dungeon delve, you put a couple of these randomly in the loot deck. So when they come up, they come up. Again, I'm not going to spoil it too much. You can you can see a couple. And this is the loot in general. What you get when you are on any quest or any dungeon delve, you get, you've, got, you've got these loot cards, which are uh, available to you, available to you when you explore. Obviously, every time you explore, you bring out a new location, you bring out new uh, monsters, new creatures, new minions to fight. And uh, I th I'm pretty sure it's going to be quite a tough game. Uh, for example, half plate apply plus four health. So plus four is, you know, it's worth it. You can only equip one item at a time when you're a basic um, hero. So you can't equip more than one item at a time. You can obviously upgrade yourself to in order to carry more items and... and um, more weapons, but that comes later in the game. And here are some dungeon cards. I'm not going to show you too many. Healing, you know, this is uh, stuff you go through when you when you're turning a dungeon card. But you can see, great artwork, nicely atmospheric. I think it's going to be pretty atmospheric. I, I'm hoping so. Cave in is a vent, you know. Roll two enemy dice for each uh, hit, suffer one wound. For each nemesis, suffer two, or remove one progress station. So it's all going to be good. Here is the card I'm going to be uh, attempting, I think, on camera first off, which is Lost in the Dark. It's going to be a delve quest. Let's look forward to that. <laughs> 